So, uh, Sharika Anil Didi, she is working uh, as an HR in a recruitment firm. She is associated with Pemakumaris and also part of the activities there. Uh, she is uh, not much participating in the volunteering activities here in the UHV uh, activities as well as projects. She did her UHV intro career workshop in September 2022 and then onwards started attending the morning sessions. Um, but she did some uh, calling activities recently for Batch 9. So this is a brief introduction regarding Shari Gadidi. Here you for the sharing. Thank you. Thank you, Sunil Bhaiya. Namaste, uh, Sharmila Didi and the entire UHP family. Uh, with gratitude towards uh, towards all, I would like to start the session. Um, my name is Sarika and uh, I have uh, attended my first uh, UHV one in September 2022. And later on, I have uh, started attending the eighth batch. I was introduced to UHV by Dr. Subhash Saranki Bhaiya, uh, thanks to Bhaiya also, and uh, closely uh, Dr. Priya Darshini and Dr. Sunil uh, Bhaiya also has helped uh, immensely for my uh, transformation. Uh, Coming to my family, I am living with my uh, spouse and my two children. Uh, my spouse Anil Kumar is uh, a software programmer. We are uh, staying in Gurgaon, Haryana. My daughters, my elder one is uh, doing her post graduation in psychology from Delhi University. And my uh, younger one is in 10th standard. Uh, my parents are in Kerala and uh, I have, uh, as a child, I have seen them uh, part, being part of so many social activities and that has actually influenced me also. Um, during my childhood, there was this 100% uh, literacy drive in Kerala and uh, in spite of my mother being a homemaker and uh, so busy with the entire activities, uh, I have seen her taking out time in uh, teaching uh, all those um, mothers who did not have the privilege to go to school. So that was all an inspiration for me, how she was always, uh, you know, contributing to the well-being of everyone. And she never <clears throat> thought about her own, um, you know, leisure time or taking rest. I have not seen her doing that. And uh, my uh, from my spouse side, my uh, those my parents are not there anymore. So. Uh, now coming to my uh, exercise one and two. <laughs> I, I, I'm able to observe these uh, steps only when I am, I mean the complete steps only when I am not doing any activity. And in whenever I am uh, involved in any activity, I am not able to um, follow the steps. That's what I have observed. And um, like the first step, when I uh, I'm able to observe my imagination, and also I am able to uh, identify my feeling. Like if it is, uh, you know, I'm I'm feeling good or I am not feeling good. I'm able to do that. And the second step has really helped me in, uh, actually this is, uh, this actually, this has helped me a lot, the second step, even right from the, 
the, st the starting of EHV1 also, this actually came as a blessing to me. Like I can identify is if like first thing is that I have identified my feeling. And if I am not feeling good about my feeling, then with the second step, I am able to uh, identify if it is naturally uh, acceptable to me or if I want to continue in it. Otherwise, uh, I didn't have this option of, uh, uh, you know, um, like to change. I, I didn't know that, okay, I can also change this feeling. So, um, I um, the example that I would like to give here is, uh, like, uh, I what I have observed in myself is, <clears throat> I have this... Uh, I feel I am very good person. That that is actually my assumption, and uh, that is not true, because when it comes to, uh, I have observed that when when I am interacting with everyone, I'm uh, like, I'm I'm good, and when it comes to my spouse, uh, I'm not. Uh, one thing is that I'm not feeling good with my in, inside, and also my behavior is not good towards him. That is what I have observed. And uh, so usually what I, before UHV, I usually uh, used to stop talking uh, to him. But then uh, with UHV, I came to the understanding that, no, that is not the right way. I have to, um, I have to discuss. So, oh, even during the sessions, I have uh, interacted with uh, Didi and uh, with her guidance, I have uh, I have initiated to uh, initiated to start discussing with my spouse about things which I'm not uh, uh, feeling good. Uh, the main uh, main thing is, I think you know, like uh, our our beliefs or our understanding there is a clash in that like for him it is just the body and uh, he's not able to see the self and um, like i am in exploring i am in this journey exploring about this and uh, but so when it comes to that uh, discussion like if, if, whenever he is saying something about with his own understanding i feel uh, it, i i you know, when I'm able, I'm able to observe that it's his idea and his understanding, but I personally take it like he's opposing me. So that is a um, belief or an uh, assumption that I have made in myself because of which I have this opposition towards him. So this is what I have, uh, I am able to understand. So now uh, with with the guidance from Didi, when I started discussing with the with the feeling of relationship, and uh, me during the discussion, I have observed I lost. <laughs> Means uh, I started with the feeling of uh, relationship, but in between the um, discussion, I could I could identify that feeling of opposition that is coming from me, and I'm getting angry or my voice is rising but then I could not I could I could uh, I could observe that but I could not change it in some instances but gradually yes I am able to um, work upon that and then um, so third step With this natural feeling, I am in harmony within, in the state of happiness within. This I am uh, able to see, like, uh, whenever there is a feeling which is naturally acceptable to me, I am in harmony and I am in a state of happiness. I am feeling good about it. Uh, same, like, uh, recently I have visited my uh, parents uh, alone. So, like... Uh, when I was there, I was actually able to appreciate uh, the effort of my spouse because whenever I am here staying with him, I can always see that because there is a 
deep rooted sanskar in me like he is op opposing me since he is from a i don't know if it is because uh, he is from a software background where he used to you know find out the causes or you know so always he will be correcting me and uh, i take it personally say thinking that he is criticizing me actually it is only about the ideas it's not about me i am able to see that so when i was in kerala when he was not with me i was actually able to appreciate him for all the things that he is doing even for those correction i am able to appreciate that but whenever when i am in his um, like with him so that that sanskar actually comes triggers so i am working on that uh, so uh, coming to the fourth step i can understand i am responsible for the for my feelings it's just the trigger from outside and the the beliefs or the um assumption that i have created in me that is actually um, causing the responses or the feelings in me i am able to understand that uh, another example i would like to uh, share here is uh, uh, my relationship my ma with my manager mm, was not so good like you know whenever she is around i was not feeling good or i always like if there is any activity where uh, i try to keep a distance from her because i did not have the right um right understanding about her or maybe uh because of the assumption like people should be behaving this way or that way that is an assumption that i have for myself i have created and because of those assumption because it was not matching with the behavior that she is having so i had an opposition feeling of opposition towards her then um when i recognized this and um, i i worked upon the understanding of uh, seeing the similarity between uh, um, me and her i was able to overcome that i mean uh, i it's not 100% i would say but yes i'm i am able to have good feelings towards her and i'm i can feel comfortable when she's around so uh, uh, this is what i have observed like i am responsible and for the feelings and if i'm not feeling good at, at any point of time i have the potential or the power to change it with the right understanding and coming to the fifth observation yes it, it's um i have observed whenever uh, my decision is based upon right understanding my i feel i'm comfortable with my feelings and uh, whenever it is based upon the, uh, some assumption or preconditioning uh i'm i it, it's that uh, feeling or the happiness or the harmony is not continuous that is what i have observed coming to the sixth point uh, i can i can totally agree to this uh, idea that feeling of relationship harmony and co coexistence are naturally ac acceptable to me and whenever i am in this uh, feeling i feel good uh, what i have observed is like uh, i am i am a student at prama kumaris i am um, raj yoga meditation and we have our morning classes so whenever i uh, i walk from my home towards the center uh, that time that uh, that time i am totally in harmony and i just enjoy that walk because i am completely aware of my thoughts my imagination and i feel so good that is the um, i mean i always enjoy that period so i am able to understand or uh, uh, see that whenever my i have this feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence i feel good
now that uh, for ensuring this feeling continuously is an effort and i understand that i need to have constant uh, awareness for that uh, like i uh, i i'm able to i'm aware whenever i'm walking or i'm not doing anything but whenever i come into action i i lose that um, awareness so again i have to make an effort sometimes i remember so i'm not able to do it continuously i need to uh, make a program for the same uh, what the program i what i do now is taking uh, a break for every one hour for few few minutes a few seconds sometimes uh, just to become aware and to you know i i do this uh, practice and uh, i am able to see that i i am happy whenever i my feelings are uh, with the natural uh, matching with the natural acceptance but whenever uh, it's not happening that way then i am not in harmony i am i am able to see that so my effort is to always to be in uh, aligning my imagination with my uh, natural acceptance i would like to go to exercise 2 now coming to the uh, i am able to see that i am a unit and the body is another unit and uh, i exist like for the body if i because body is visible and when i uh, see the body i am able to i am able to see it with the um, eyes and if i am closing my eyes i am also able to feel the sensation so uh, i can see that the body exists and also i can see uh, the imagination my thoughts feelings and the desires so um, i'm actually exploring this idea i mean i am able to see this imagination but i i would i have to uh, dwell deeper into this and um, i can see that i transact information uh, whenever is requ uh, whenever uh, required and i am the one who decides which instruction to read for example uh, like i whenever i feel hungry uh, when there is um, i i sense this uh, i have the sensation of uh, hunger i if i am at home i usually um, go and eat immediately you know that is how i i do because i feel i cannot i cannot tolerate the sensation of hunger but i have seen when i am busy in office then uh, i am not even reading the sensation of hunger uh, and i it actually came as a surprise to me how is it possible like there is a particular time when i feel that sensation i eat, i eat when i am in at home but it doesn't happen all the time so i am able to see that i read the sensation time to time i decide to read the sensation or there was a time when i was traveling and i decided not to eat and uh, i uh, i was feeling the uh, um, sensation of hunger but i was not disturbed at that time because there was a i have decided not to eat so i can see this um, i am the one who is deciding i am able to see that and uh, coming to the fourth step i am able to see that uh, i am different from the sensation or i am different from the body uh, there is a space between me and the body i am able to see because uh, like in before doing uhv if there is any pain like that used to disturb me and uh, now by with this, with this practice when i am able to see that distance like, like i am not in the pain or uh, that pain is different from me i am able to be in control so 
I am able to see this difference and this has helped me to be in control. Like, okay, if it is required, something has to be done or otherwise it's okay. It can, it is bearable. So I'm able to see this step. And coming to the fifth step, I'm able to see my reaction or response is always based upon my sanskar. Again, uh, coming to the uh, interaction with my husband, I would, uh, because I, I have I have identified this uh, assumption or the beliefs that I have in within me about my spouse, like he is criticizing me. And uh, so whenever I am talking to him, uh, my voice rises, raises. So uh, I came to know, I mean, recently I noticed it. My uh, children used to, like whenever I, I might be talking to him, but they come, the children come and uh, ask me, why are you uh, angry or why are you uh, shouting? So that is when I recognize that because of my uh, this assumption that I'm having towards the, uh, my spouse, my behavior or my voice is changing. And I have to, uh, so I, I, can, I can see that my reaction, it's always a reaction. And there are times when I try to respond also. I mean, I'm able to catch it from my feelings. I, I can see that feelings, feeling of opposition coming in just observing it and, you know, not re uh, reacting. I I'm able to do it sometimes. And I, uh, uh, same way, I'm able to see that I am, I react whenever my sans sanskar is based upon assumption. And when I look for right, when I start, um, looking for right understanding and uh, contemplating then with the right understanding i am able to respond i am i am i have seen that but i am not able to do it practically i am working on that and coming to the seventh step i am i have not explored it much um but I yes, I it 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 gives a good feeling when I'm thinking that okay I am in space and the body is in space. It, I, but I have not explored it much. Happiness is my innate nature. Yes, because why it is my innate nature? Because I want to be happy, and I I I want to be happy in continuous. I want to be happy always, and. Uh, it was actually a pursuit of happiness all my life and with the with the kind of uh, the job and the family i was able to understand there is something more i need to be happy because uh, i i because even before uh, maybe uh, 10 12 years also i used to wonder i have everything but i am not happy from inside so um I understand for being happy, I should have, I, I should have the right understanding. And that was the reason, like I used to be very angry with my daughter. And that was the reason why I have joined Brahma Kumaris to practice meditation. And that was actually helped me in my relationship with my daughters. And I'm working on my relationship with my spouse. And uh, yeah, I think I'm almost out of time. So I would, uh, with the, with gratitude towards the entire UHV family, I would like to conclude my uh, sharing about the time that I have to uh, devote. Yes, yes, thank, you, thank you so much for this detailed sharing with uh, examples of uh, uh, your relationship with your uh, with your spouse as well as children. So. Uh, in the interest of time, let me request uh, Shamla Didi to give her comments regarding uh, sharing Didi sharing. Shamla Didi, over to you. Ji, namaste, Sarika Ji. Namaste, Didi. Um, it was very nice to hear you. Um, uh, you know, can, it's a very honest, very sincere sharing that you have put forward. 
um, with examples of you know behavioral changes that you are able to see and that you are able to recognize um, whenever you know the behavior is changing and able to relate it back to the feeling it's very true that you know uh, initially we may not be able to see and others are drawing our attention this is all these are all triggers that are drawing our attention to the fact that our feeling has changed and therefore it is reflecting in our behavior so very nice uh, to see this uh, progress in this short span of time but probably because of your association from before and your work on yourself perhaps from before a little bit you know um, because of your sanskars maybe um, you are able to see this in this short span of time and work on yourself of course it's a long journey like we all keep saying so hopefully you'll be joining us in the subsequent sessions also and uh, again uh, you know the participation part you may want to look at it in your own time based on whatever time you have so that it can also further your journey in this exploration as well as help in the society also so all the very best to you thank you didi thank you didi for the comments namaste bhaiya ji ji very nice sharing didi uh, very uh, detailed uh, but i i, I want some uh, clarification uh, you all the time was saying that you were in opposition with this pause but uh, finally you told that you want happiness uh, all the time so i think the uh, please clarify this uh, how how it is it is you to decide na please yes bhaiya uh, i have seen that i want happiness uh, all the time but because of my deep rooted sanskar i'm mm -hmm. i'm having this feeling of opposition for my spouse and i mm -hmm. am able to see that because of this opposition i am not able to be happy it's not because of him it's actually because of me and mm -hmm. i i'm working on it because since it is a deep rooted sanskar even though i am able to see it i'm not able to do it in practical but i'm working on it and i'm sure i'll succeed ji ji so with the help of uhv steps particularly step um, exercise 1 and this two you can you can overcome this isn't it yes with the help of uhv and the uh, un uh, understanding that i have from brahma kumaris uh, because I, both are going hand in hand okay 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 ji didi thank you Th thanks sir all the best for remaining thank you thank good you, day thank bye you, thank you prasanthaya for that question and didi's response very nice so thank you so much